What is up you guys, Matt from my process and guys today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what actually occurred today and what has actually been occurring um, over these last few months and today's topic is actually about um, football and the Jags 2017 and 2018 season that they just had. If you guys aren't familiar with the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're a team in the NFL. But yeah guys, so basically I want to talk to you guys about my reaction to um, you know the Jaguars season that they just had, the 2017-2018 season that they just had, um, and how it kind of went down. And my reaction, um, you know, being a um, a Jaguar fan, just my experience throughout this whole season, um, you know, looking back on it and looking back on the past, but also looking forward, um, you know, for the future of you know this team, but also and and there'll be a lot of lessons in this that you guys can add value to um, from as well. So basically, um, today was actually, it was the AFC Championship and the Jags were actually in it um, and they were facing the uh, the New England Patriots who are notorious for, um, you know, for winning the Super Bowl a lot. They've uh, Tom Brady has won like five Super Bowls who is the, and Tom Brady is their quarterback. Um, and like I said, whoever, whoever wins this game um, goes to the Super Bowl. And something something interesting about like the history of the Jaguars is that we have not um, we have not been to the AFC Championships since 1999. It's been a long time since we've been to the AFC Championship, and that's something that we reached this uh, this Sunday, and this was absolutely amazing. And we've actually never in franchise history the Jacksonville Jaguars have actually never been to the Super Bowl in their entire franchise history. If the Jaguars won today, they would basically be making history for their entire team. Um, and that would be like, you know, that would the first, you know, this year would be the this season that they just had would be the first season that they ever went to the Super Bowl. And, you know, I would have been able to experience that. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, the game was actually today and it was a couple, the game, the game ended a couple of hours ago. Basically what happened is, um, you know, the first quarter, the first, First half of the game, we were up by a lot. We were really dominating the whole game. We were keeping possession. We were getting first downs. Our defense was absolutely killing, um, you know, Tom Brady and his offense and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, second half kind of came and Tom Brady was really a new player and the whole Patriots team was just a new team when they came out the second quarter, the second half. Um, and by the end of the, uh, by, and by fourth quarter, you know, Tom Brady had just really stepped up his game, and the ultimate result obviously wasn't what we wanted, or what a anyone in Jacksonville wanted. Basically, Tom Brady did what he was notorious of doing, and he pulled it out in the last, um, the last quarter, and and ended up winning. And the New England Patriots ended up beating us, beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, 24 to 20, so it was, it was a really insanely amazing game. Really, really fun to watch. There's so many emotions during that game as well. A lot of people blame the refs, like the, you know the refs that were, um, you know, calling the game and calling the penalties and stuff like that. That you know it was rigged. You know, and and some of those points that people are making, you know, I I I do agree with and stuff, but I'm not gonna. Um, blame that entire game on the refs. Obviously, a lot of things that we could have that we could have done a lot better in that game that we didn't do. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but I was actually I'm actually a season ticket holder. Um, I was like this year was the first year that we ever got season tickets for um, the Jacksonville Jaguars because you know we saw that you know they were starting to get better players and we were hoping like you know this season was going to be big. You know what I'm saying like we thought that this season was like you know going to be the season that we finally you know get to the playoffs so that we finally don't be like you know the last in the league like we always are. Um, and something interesting to think about is actually twenty last year we were actually we were three and thirteen in the regular season, um, and we were like one of the worst teams in the entire NFL. Um, and it, it absolutely, it, it's just absolutely amazing how um, you know we were able to turn a three and thirteen season into a ten and six season, um, and go all the way to the AFC Championships. Just be, to be able to do that takes so much persistence, strength. There's like so many adjectives to describe. Um, you know this change, and I can't even describe it right now. Um, in words, you know, how amazing the difference between the last five seasons we've had being a, a failing team and losing almost every game um, to being able to step up and, and just make the season that we just had, you know, one of the best seasons that we've ever had in our, in our franchise's history. So really, really interesting to think about and just really amazing to see, you know, how we've developed throughout these years and how um, we've really moved forward, not only as you know, a team, but as a city itself, we really, as a city, we never gave up. 
at times when we felt like we wanted to give up on our Jacksonville Jaguar team. I always found hope that you know maybe this season will be the season. Like maybe maybe we'll win this game. Maybe we'll beat this team. You know what I'm saying like maybe we'll get this far in our season. Like maybe we'll win this many games. Like whatever it is, guys. Like we we always tried staying positive throughout this the whole journey that we were going through as a team and as, and as a city. All this positivity and all this hard work and all this um, persistence, um, you know, finally paid off because we were able to experience a season that you know not a lot of other people can experience. You know? Being able to have a ten and six season and, and going to the AFC Championships right before a season that we went three and thirteen in, um, and bouncing back from that, so that was like absolutely amazing, and um, it's a lot of lessons that you can really put into your life and how. Um, you know, if something's not working out, if you have to have hope in yourself that um, the situation that you, that you may be in has will get better. You know, something will change in your life if you make that change. Um, so it's just really motivating to see that um, something in my own city, something in my own city that I can experience um, is going through the, you know, the same journey that I'm actually going through in my life, you know. Um, and my journey that I chose of entrepreneurship and trying to become successful and trying to impact, you know, thousands and thousands of people, you know, I, I know that every day, you know, there's there will be some sort of obstacle, there will be some sort of adversity that I will have to overcome, but I just have to know and understand that I that if I have hope um, and that and I keep moving forward every single day, no matter how bad this next, that this one day is, I know that, ne that that next day will be even better because I'll make that next day a better day. And if it's not, then I'll make that next day a better day. And if that, and if that day is not a better day, then I'll make the next day a better day. Just always and, and always and always continuously moving forward um, is really the key to creating a successful um, anything in your life, no matter what you're doing, guys. Like just the key to become successful in that is just constantly trying to improve and becoming better every single day and moving forward every single day of your life. Um, no matter how bad or no matter no matter what the obstacle it is, and it's something that I really experienced through this entire season that I went through. I went to almost every single game this season. You know, I experienced all the wins. I experienced all the losses that we had. All the pain, the fear, the the happiness, the glory. I felt all of it. These are emotions that are attached to memories, and these memories, um, I know, will last me an entire lifetime. Um, and and the, and this completely parallels with. What I'm talking with you guys today with about you know becoming successful in your life and just going through this process that you're um, that you're going through to you know become successful in that one thing or becoming truly happy in your life, um, going through this whole process you're creating memories that are filled with emotions um, where, that are filled with so many diverse amounts of emotions um, you know and these memories that are filled with these emotions will last you an entire lifetime and you know hopefully when you become successful you know you'll look back in your life and you won't. You know, remember, you know, all the amazing things that you got and the results and the success. You'll remember, you know, those memories that got you to where you that to where you wanted to be, that got you to, um, you know, that point where you know you were successful and stuff. And and I just know that, like, you know, looking back, I, I know that I will always I will always you know remember you know the play that got us to the AFC Championship or the game that got us into the playoffs. Or my, you know, my first home playoff game that I've ever been to. There's so many memories that I know will last me an entire lifetime um, that hopefully I can share with my kids. And moving forward, you know, for next season, and I just think, you know, and I really firmly believe that there's a reason for everything. So there's obvious, there's a reason why we didn't, you know, go to the Super Bowl this year. And I really feel like, you know, maybe we weren't ready as a franchise, as a city, as a team to go to the, to the Super Bowl. You know, we haven't been to the playoffs since 1999 so maybe um, you know we needed to experience you know what the playoffs were really like and because um, you know our quarterback and a lot of different players on our team have never even been in the playoffs um, so to experience that is a really different feeling and I think you know coming back next year we will be a completely new mindset team because we're not playing at a status of you know we we went to the we you know we went to the Super Bowl like you know we're all high and mighty like we we're, we're playing with the mindset that you know we lost and we were just about to get to the Super Bowl so we're playing with a massive chip on our shoulder every single game with the hope that we will get to the Super Bowl and then we will win the Super Bowl next season so I think that this is not gonna. This is actually not a failure, but this is actually an opportunity to motivate our team, to motivate the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, to make next season the best season that we've ever, that this franchise has ever had, and finally make it to the Super Bowl. Um, and I really think that this motivation will really help us get us 
um, to that to the Super Bowl next year. So I'm super excited to see how that goes out. And I cannot. I'm so happy that I'm part of this team and I'm part of you know this city and um, and I, I'm be, I'm able to take the lessons from this season and give it to you guys and add value to you guys, even though you may not know. Um, you know, the NFL or the, or, or the Jacksonville Jaguars or anything, but I, I'm sure that these lessons are applicable to anything that you guys do in life. So um, this is just my reaction to the uh, to this 2017-2018 Jacksonville Jaguar season that we just had and how it applies to you guys and how it applies to me as well. So um, guys, like I said, just keep loving the process and never stop moving forward in your life. Um, and start watching football, guys, and especially the Jacksonville Jaguar. And if you're, if you're repping this jersey, man... If you're up in this Jacksonville Jaguar jersey, you're my best friend. So, um, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And do bold till I die. See you guys later. Bye.